All right, it's 3 o'clock here on 90.3 KEXP in Seattle, worldwide at kexp.org. I'm Stevie Zoom. Uh, Cheryl is here doing the afternoon show for Kevin. Kevin did the midday show for Cheryl. Cheryl's doing the afternoon show for Kevin. And I'm coming in for one inning of middle relief with the baseball project here. I had to get one of those out of the way and get it done. And Cheryl just finished up with Gutter Ball and a song called Motorcycle Boy. Nice. How about that? Nice. Awesome. All right, we are here with the baseball project. They're playing live. We have Linda Pittman, Mike Mills, Steve Wynn, and Scott McCoy. And tonight they are performing at Numo's. Dressy Bessie is also performing, and Sean Nelson and Friends are opening up. And uh, if you guys are ready for a couple songs... We're ready. We're ready. All right. In the early grade school morning, I heard the paper hit the door and I would pour a bowl of Lucky Charms and devour the sporting green. Then when I was a young man, Cup of cold pressed coffee in my hand Forget about myself, forget everybody else I keep my eye on the sparrow I keep my focus pretty narrow I listen to the music and read books about its makers I read books about baseball The swingers and the takers were what I love even more Pouring over box scores For half an hour every day I let the box scores Let the box scores have their way Cause it's like meditation Forget about your problems Take a mind vacation In the numbers and the columns Stats and players may fade away Too many for this one brain But every summer, every day The box scores keep me sane I keep my eye on the sparrow I keep my focus pretty narrow I listen to the music and read books about its makers I read books about baseball The swingers and the takers Seattle 
and how it all went wrong. It's called 13. here at KEXP from the Baseball Project 13, the song. I had a hunch we might hear that song here today <laughs> in studio. And the first one was Box Scores. Both of those are on the most recent album, Third, which came out uh, right on the eve of the baseball season. Very nice. You guys just keeping it in vogue all year. Well, welcome <laughs> back. You guys have been here before. You were also part of one of our remote broadcasts in Portland. Yeah, so true. thank you for being here. Again, they're playing tonight at Numo's. And uh, first of all, the record third, just all together, is a really, it's a really solid rock record. Oh, that's Throughout. Thanks. Thank, Thank you. you. And, uh, we intended it that way. Yeah. <laughs> and then subject matter, you touch on the greats, the rogues, 
the nerdy stuff, box that's, scores. That's and what that we do. Of... We, we we look for all that stuff. <laughs> we like the greats. We like the rogues. We like the nerds. Yeah, <laughs> that's I mean, what baseball's all about. That's what the history of the game it's is there true, for. True, right? Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, uh, making contrib- everybody making contributions uh, with the subject matter or songs or, or or players that they have something for to write about and then kind of bring it together. I know you guys recorded in uh, Portland last year. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Steve and I come up with the lion share stuff, but um, Linda always helps out, and uh, Peter comes up with ideas sometimes too. And then Mike came in with just this amazing finished song, and we're like. Well, well, that was cool. <laughs> so, uh, it was about Dale Murphy, and he actually came to the show last night in Portland, which was pretty amazing. And gave, and gave Mike the, the jersey he's wearing right now, the, um, the Dale Murphy jersey he's got on him right now. Well, I was going to comment on that since uh, I know that you're not doing this, that song here in studio. I'm yeah. sure we'll hear it this evening. But, Absolutely. Uh, yes. I mean, Mike's is got the, uh, the Dale Murphy jersey there and is on a crusade <laughs> for uh, Dale in the hall. My, my mission in life. Yeah, right? it's your yeah, new it's mission, a, huh? It just seems like he should be. You know, he's got the qualities you want and none of the ones you don't. And he, he was good and he ought to be in the Hall of Fame. Well, I can remember going to the Giants games back in the day when the Braves would come to town and Dale Murphy was the one guy in their lineup you just would not leave your seat for. Right. Well, you, you, yeah, because, yeah. I mean, he could make great throws in the outfield. He could hit it 500 feet. You just never yeah. knew. And so much of, uh, I mean, that, that immeasurable thing these days, and even especially this week in sports with in America with uh, character. Well, you know, d- there are technically four qualities to get into the Hall of Fame, and character, ability, and integrity are three of them. So uh, sportsmanship is the other. And so, you know, if he doesn't nail those, I don't know who does. And yeah. he's a big indie rock fan, has great music yeah. taste. So yeah. I think that, you know, that's he, the fifth element that's going to put him yeah. over the top. The music in baseball parallel is yeah is paramount yeah so what are some of his sometimes tenuous yeah (laughs) so what kind of uh uh, music uh uh likes did he share with you wilco Wilco. he's a big fan of wilco he's a big wilco fan yeah he likes rem that's are we of course yeah Yeah. he likes rem (laughs) yes Well, he, he has no choice now. <laughs> <laughs> and now he's been kicking, drag, kicking and screaming into our camp as well. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. No. Well, he would have been playing in Atlanta right when yeah. you guys were rising out oh, of yeah. the primordial ooze. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So you guys have done a number of, as this season has gone along, um, you guys have done a number of shows and events. What are some of the highlights for the baseball project with uh, some of the um, baseball grounds this year? Well, I should point out that we've, we have been on tour for most of the last two months. I think about 40 shows, and this is the last show of our tour. This is the yeah. end of the season. This is, you know. Yeah, so this will be a highlight. Yeah. But we thought we'd make the postseason, but we were eliminated, so we're going to finish it up on the road this is in the, the one game wild card playoff tonight. <laughs> Probably the minor league all star game in, uh, in Raleigh Durham at yeah. the Bulls, Durham Bulls Stadium was that definitely was, a highlight. That was that great. Was cool. We sang uh, Take Me Out to the Ball Game on top of the Brewers' dugout at the seventh inning stretch there. That was fun. We've done previously. We've done the national anthem at at, a, at Fenway at a Yankees Red Sox game. That was pretty crazy. We've all thrown first pitches. None this year so far. But we've all thrown first true. pitches at games. That's true. I think we were too yeah. good. I think that's we made yeah, everybody yeah. else look bad. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's why they're not offering that anymore. <laughs> but it's hard though because we're a lot of times we're we're like oh yeah we're playing in St. Louis and the Cards are in town. Oh we can't go. We're playing a show. Right. <laughs> you know, so there's just a lot of drat. That. Yeah. We're, we've yeah. got to go to work. Yeah, yeah you've got to have that timing where you're already there and maybe they're playing a day game and you yeah. can go make an appearance we've, and then you do a show in the evening. We've done some crazy ones where like we'll do sound check and then race across town like to the Phillies do a take me out to the ball game and just immediately just bust it back and then walk up on stage. You know. Yeah, we had a tour a couple of years ago. We. Had a, it was a 14-day tour, and we saw 11 games in the 14 days, <laughs> and we were playing every, every night. Every night, yeah. yeah, yeah. It didn't fall fall for us that way this time. Though. Yeah, yeah. All right. no. But you know what? Having a, a hot dog lunch 14 days in a row. Got, got, we got did a do, we sick. did do two shows the same day we went to the Brewers game though, so that was pretty yeah. that was pretty yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. Now you guys and your musical careers have logged countless thousands and thousands of miles been in cars for and over the years was uh were there times where you're messing around you're tired of listening to music and do you, have you guys in the past did you look for a game on the air just to, to oh, pass all the time, the time. and yeah. in fact you know yeah we, we do it now it's so easy because we actually right. you know we can get it on on, on the phone and yeah. hear any game you want which is great but a man you know we all we've all got stories i know of for example, being on tour in Europe during the postseason and trying to find Armed Forces Radio wherever you can find it. And my, I mean, for me, one of the hardest ones was, I think, at the 
the um, the the Kirk Gibson game um, where you hit the home run back. back. Yeah, sorry, Scott. Back in '88, and I had the game on the radio driving overnight from a gig in Hamburg, and I had the game going, and I lost a signal in the eighth inning. Like, and that's it. You couldn't look it up online. It took two days to find out what happened. Like, oh man, I'm yeah. like, come on, walking all across the van, holding your your transistor radio to every end of the thing, trying to hope you get the signal. It's gone. <laughs> You know, you, you can pass a lot of miles. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the miles can go by when you can find a game on the on the radio, and especially if it was if you're traveling and it's and it's uh, some announcer crew that maybe you're not familiar with, or maybe you've only heard the names, and you get to listen to them and see how they do it, and then you kind of in the you know the miles just go by. Absolutely. It's true. Mm-hmm. They also go by nicely if you um, pop in Bad News Bears <laughs> while you're driving from uh, you know, San Francisco to. To Portland. Yeah, we did that the other night. <laughs> Watch right. Bad News Bears. It's great. So they are playing tonight at Numos. And as Steve mentioned, this is the last uh, show on this uh, road trip. And so I think it's 8 o'clock. Uh, 8 o'clock yeah. doors. Yeah. Dressy Bessie performing. Sean Nelson and friends are opening up, which the stage could be filled up with yes. Sean Nelson and right. friends. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So no postseason uh, plans at this point. Well, not at this point, but the record's been going great and the tour's been going great, so yeah. we're definitely not done with it yet, for sure. Yeah, I mean, there's, I mean, you've got there's so many folks that are involved in baseball that have, you know, you've lined up a lot of these shows with you guys over the years who are music fans. I mean, there's just so much that goes with the game and and with music. Yeah, I think we didn't, you know, we just started this band and made our first record because just because we had to do it because we just wanted to kind of dared each other just to write 12, 15 baseball songs and do it. But over time, we found there are a lot of people who like both things. I, don't, I think that's been a, a nice surprise. Yeah. yeah, that's one good thing about being around for a long time is, uh, you know, some of the people who liked our bands when we were starting, Green Syndicate, Young Fresh Fellows, now have now somehow all these years later become respectable members of society <laughs> and they have jobs and stuff and they still and, and you know maybe work for the brewers or something and say let's mm-hmm. get the baseball project yeah and so yeah it's, it's weird that's great all right tonight at numos you guys ready for a couple more songs yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> we were talking about the braves we're not going to do dale murphy but we'll do some a song about probably the greatest brave of all As a boy in Mobile, I go down the Three Mile Creek Spend my time alone, all day to fish and think And when I took the field, it wasn't to make friends With a bat in my hand, me alone against them Cause I already knew that I could be the best of all they call me snowshoe, they call me step and fetch it Called me a shuffler, and not the sharpest tool in the shed With our lockers in the back corner of the clubhouse Those Florida springs, they locked us even further out But I already knew that I could be the best of all And home runs They said that they were high But I won't regret a one In fact, I give thanks And I'm not their boy And I don't need defending Cause they don't know me, no They don't know Henry They don't know me, no they don't know me, no They don't know me, no They don't know Henry Please don't ever ask me About Barry Bonds again Why oh, say over and over What I never wanted to say then And don't ask me again About Willie or the Fed it was Jackie and Musial, if anyone, that I hope to emulate. But most of all, I always try to be him. And let that color how they chose to see me. Cause I already knew. Boy, and I don't need defending 
don't know Henry They don't know me, no They don't know me, no They don't know me, no They don't know Henry They don't know me, no They don't know me, no They don't know me, no They don't know Henry Song, another one off the new record about uh, ball players coming over from Cuba, and it's been more lately. Um, this one's about, particularly about El Duque, Orlando Hernandez, and how how exciting and um, it must be to get to get to the majors, but also all the things that come along with it. And it's called Hola America. Hola. 
live music here at KEXP, the baseball project, Hola America. You know, uh, timing on that one, I just was looking at the news headlines this morning, and not even on the sports page headlines, but on the news headlines, there was an arrest of a guy in Miami who was involved in the smuggling of Yasiel Puig. To America. Oh, the, really? That yeah. Happened. So yeah, yeah. that is that is that is quite a story. I've read that whole yeah. thing. Yeah, well, smuggling of Puig. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that a Melville novel? <laughs> <laughs> International uh, Puig smuggler. Now there's some ideas for the next record. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you're listening to the Baseball Project here live at KEXP. They're performing songs there from Third, the uh, latest release on the Yep Rock label, and they're playing tonight at Numos with Dressy Bessie and Sean Nelson and friends. So uh, thank you, Linda and Mike and Steve. And Scott, thank you all for uh, being here and thanks sharing, uh, Steve. sharing the song. Yeah. Yeah. And thanks to our engineer, Kevin. So we'll all send right. it back to uh, Cheryl Kevin on the afternoon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll send it back to Cheryl here on the afternoon show on 90.3 KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.